Ladies and gentlemen, this is an article that just came out in the Daily Beast. Puerto Rico will not be getting power restored until next year. <laughs> and now there's a lot of people saying they may be leaving Puerto Rico for good, not going back at all. So, I mean, this is just terrible. And a lot of people are still not helped, even after Trump's visit. So if you know they're not helped, the U.S. Virgin Island is where a lot of the black people are. You can best believe they're not healthy. They're not getting help either. And remember, they are without power, but nobody is barely talking about the U.S. Virgin Islands at all. Vieques was the island's tourism engine. Well, tourism is dead. <laughs> and now it's dead. And with this future untold number of people who say they are headed to the United States mainland. Yeah, a lot of them are probably not going to go back, especially if they got family on the mainland. You know, the majority of Puerto Ricans were already in America. And now, you know, once the next round of people come, it will definitely be a lot less people in Puerto Rico. Now, from what I'm hearing, uh, the island is about 85% without power. And you can best believe the ones that got power are probably the rich, the people that are influential and got money. Puerto Rico, Joa Maria Bernard Cook in the dark over a gas stove outside their small hotel. The tropical guest house, the days feel shorter, says Maria. We have 12 hours of daylight to get everything done. When it gets dark, the entire island of Vieques is dark. This is life on the world-renowned Taurus Island. Well, it's not going to be no Taurus Island anytime soon. You can best believe that. It's going to be life for at least the next six to eight months, if not longer, before electricity is restored here. Now, um, I, I was just watching a video and it said um, power will probably be out in most of the island until next year. You know, I, I just don't know. The people that decide to stay, I just don't know how they're going to make it without power for that long. Um, we're in denial, Maria said. We're going to give it another two weeks, maybe a month. Then maybe we'll go back to the States. In 2005, the couple traded in the bustle of New York and jobs in the television industry for a more rewarding future in Puerto Rico, which offered a triple tax exemption for resettling here. With their savings, they got a loan to buy their turnkey hotel. All right. So, I mean, I wish them the best, but <laughs> I, can't, I cannot see myself staying anywhere in the darkness for that long. And you can see a lot of these places don't even have a roof. The roof is gone. And you know Trump right now, he is tightening up on the purse strings and don't want to help them. And that's another problem right there. I guess this is the couple. Um, you know, and, and he doesn't, he act like he don't want to help. You would think he was paying for Puerto Rico out of his very own pocket and he's not, you know, and, and many of these people aren't going to have a choice. Many of them have already left and they're here in the mainland already. Um, uh, most, a lot of Puerto Ricans left right after, um, Hurricane Maria and came to the States, but you know, there's still a lot left there. Um, uh, but many of them say they may not even return back there. I, I think after two devastating hurricanes, <laughs> I think they're looking for a safer place to be. But, you know, it's a shame. It's a shame. All I see are people eyeballing this place and it's going to be completely gentrified, especially if most of the people 
you know, or even, even half of them decide not to come back, you know. So tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Um, and if you can make a donation to my channel, please do. We may be looking at a modern day exodus <laughs> from Puerto Rico. Peace, family.